Moving along those front lines, one of the issues in today's activism is how to find people. How to find people in the real world that you can actually join forces with and do more than just share a few Facebook posts lamenting the loss of liberty. But what if you could use a possible pitfall in order to create those connections? What if you could use the digital world to pointedly manifest physical activism beyond the cumbersome Facebook event or nebulous hashtags? That's something that Matt, website developer and founder of Community Connector, not only asked, but then answered. The idea behind Community Connector is to use the digital platform in order to find and connect with those in your area with similar, similar socio-political objectives. It's hard to talk when it's cold. Based on your skills, your specific community's needs, and your available resources, you then launch into physical action, taking the talk from the digital realm to the real world. Earlier, I spoke with Matt about this project, his hopes on bringing people together, calming activist infighting, and why we need to rely more on our local communities and less on the digital world. Take a look. The way it really came about for me was, you know, I went through a sort of a, an awakening process, if you like, um, like, you know, like many people do. Um, and I sort of suddenly found myself aware of all these, all these things in the world, you know, all these problems and, and things. And, um, and I felt quite isolated because I had a sort of an online community of people who I was talking to on sort of Facebook and things. Um, and, and I didn't actually really know anyone to sort of speak to, you know, in the real world and, um, about, you know, about these things. So I thought, well, you know, wouldn't it be great to actually find out if there are other people in my local town here who, you know, who are also sort of aware of the things that I'm aware of, and that's kind of where the the idea kind of came about, I guess. So that's fantastic. So it's it's basically like a, an activist version of Meetup.com. <laughs> um, yeah, I I would say so. I mean, it's 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 evolved slightly into into slightly more of a sort of a, a social media platform, if you like, um, as well, in that you've got the kind of sort of fairly familiar sort of Facebook style, you know, sort of status feed and things where you can, you know, you can put messages up there in a similar way to Facebook. I kind of built in that sort of social media aspect to it as well, um, as added sort of, you know, add, an added incentive for people to use the site. But it's important not to really lose sight of the the sort of primary purpose of the site, which is actually to get people off their computers, um, you know, and get get them actually doing things in the real world. So talk um, a little bit about that functionality of the site. How have you built it so that people are sort of pushed to to connect, but to connect in a way that pulls them out of their, away from their computers and into the real world and doing actual activist uh, actions or rallies or things like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, it, I, I think, the the key is just getting people to make that initial meeting because I think when people do meet, you know, there's there's something that happens when people meet. I mean, we 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 did it here. We had a, a small meeting in a local pub here where sort of five or six people turned up, and and when you get people together, that that's that's where the sort of you know people really really start to um, talk about actually doing things. I mean, the way I've actually developed the site that because because an, another aspect of it is. Um, um, another another problem that I see at the moment is that we have lots of lots of groups, lots of different activist groups, and they're all focused on their their niche, their little topic. So you've maybe got the anti fracking movement, and you've got the you know the anti austerity movement. And you've you've got all these different movements, and they're very they're very much focused on their their niche, their problem. Um, and and I see a real need for getting people to sort of um, you know sort of unite between all these different groups so so what what i'd like to do is see all these different groups all using my platform and using my platform as a way of bringing people together i've been quite frustrated over the last sort of you know year or two with with the all the sort of infighting that seems to happen between groups you know groups sort of you know fighting between each other about whose problem is the most important and which solutions are the best solutions and things like this and and a lot of the time i feel like a lot of activist groups are spending more time and energy you know debating with with other activist groups than they are about actually you know getting out there and solving the problems what i'm hoping is that that by um by using this platform 
um, if you know if if two different organisations or activist groups or whatever you want to call them, if 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 they can't cooperate together as an organisation, then at least we get the supporters of those organisations meeting up at a local level, and you kind of you're kind of bringing bringing all these groups together at a sort of grassroots level. Yeah, that also of course really speaks to the importance of local politics over you know, national and global politics, people seem to think that local politics aren't as important, wherein, whereas the reality of the situation is that local politics are incredibly important. Mm. The, the, the solution, as I see it, is not to, not to continuously be fighting the system all the time, but just, just to start bypassing the system at a local level. So, you know, just start growing your own food in the community and you know, going out there and feeding the homeless and doing doing things at a local level. Right. And so so finally, a, a, a question, because I, I'm always curious, you know, obviously your uh, something that I try to push people into doing is following their passion into activism. But you're a perfect example of that. You're a website developer and you decided that yep. what you could offer was website development. Um, yeah. And in terms of like on the local level and also just in terms of activism in general, even though what you're doing is you're creating a space where people can meet face to face and create in person actions, how what do you feel the role of um, of technology is in our fight against you know the same the same uh, the same system and the same evil? Yeah, I mean, I think it's 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 a bit of a tricky one, really, because because it's kind of used in the right. I don't, I don't know, really. I mean. Sorry, let me think about that a bit. <laughs> Sorry, can you can you ask the question again? I'm, I'm, yeah. So basically, yeah. I'm 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 curious, particularly because of of what you're doing is you're creating a space online where people can get offline, and yeah. I think that's a fascinating and it's an awesome it's an awesome concept and a very necessary concept because you know as I mentioned earlier the future and the the current. Um, uh, the, like the current space of activism is both digital and um, and out on the streets. So I'm curious what you feel as a website developer and somebody who deals with technology very much. What do you feel technology will be? Uh, what do you feel its role will be in the future of activism, particularly on this grassroots level, like what you're facilitating? Yeah, I mean, I think I I think it's important that we don't rely too much on technology, actually, because. Um, I think I think that's where we've gone in the last few years is is that we're all relying on technology too much, and you know it's it's going to come to a point where they they the powers that be are going to clamp down more and more on the technology, um, and ultimately they I think have too much control over the technology, which is why I think it's really important to actually get away from the technology um, as much as possible and actually form real connections because, you know, if they did come along and switch the internet off one day, we would be completely lost. But if we've already established these local groups where we can communicate with each other and we know we know who, who does what in the community and things, then then our reliance on the internet is is less, you know, is less important. So I, I actually think that that we we need to be careful not to rely too much on on the technology and and be prepared to to manage without it. To find out more about Community Connector and to join up, go to coeo.cc. You can also check out a subgroup site called Full Circle Project at fullcircleproject.net.